Let's hear from the bishop. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Can we get a hand say hallelujah? Can we give God some praise? Can we bless the name of the Lord? Can we say Jesus? Jesus. Woo. Life. And what? I have enjoyed this night. Before but Bishop uh, Porter, thank God for you. I, 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 got to concede, I got to yield and tell you that the truth because I'm God's man. Yes. Uh, you was calling for a person to come up with the back. Yes. And you was calling for a person with a pain below the knee. But what happened, this sister was coming back to sit down. And you had just prayed for her, and she had on the high heels. And I was down there. I said, look, give me these shoes, and you walk around here barefoot to praise God. And when I got back up, you kept on going. But it ain't hurting now anyway. <laughs> it ain't hurt. But I was the one. But the shoes got in my way. <laughs> I don't know which one the sister was, but... She had it. I, I, all I can remember was the old days when the sister came in the house of God. They kicked them high heels off, and they, they didn't worry about that. They went on, praise God. But I thank God tonight for you allowing us to come down, and uh, I enjoy the message and, and music. The music is just awesome. And that order, because we know where there's confusion, God ain't there. Come on, brother. And I thank God for Bishop Porter. And my niece, uh, she have uh, been talking about you quite a bit. That's Miriam and uh, Elder, Elder Scott, my nephew. And then, but I have my sister, Pastor. You know, you, you pull him up there and made a singer. So now when he get back, say, Ma, he's going to be in the choir. <laughs> well, Assistant Pastor uh, Eddie Ma, will you please say that? There he is right there. You pull him all over there. Amen. And we thank God for him. Amen. And uh, uh, we just thank God. I, I, you know, it's like... <laughs> there he is, yeah, yes. And this uh, divine appointment thing, and I often tell people, although we know that San Francisco is quite a ways away, but if you're supposed to be there tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, you're going to be there. And we was coming last night, and it looked like some things was getting in the way, but we were supposed to be here. And it was for us here, and I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. And, and I, I thank God for your bishop, your pastor. You don't get a lot of word in a whole lot of places. Amen. You get a whole lot of other stuff. But he's coming with that word, and that's where the power. There's no power in him. It's in that word that he's telling you. That's where the power is. He's a man of God, and I'm a man of God. Amen. And you got to live what you preach. Amen. Because this young generation will figure you out in five minutes. Isn't that right? Amen. I thank God we're not going to hold you too much longer. You better live right. You better live holy. And if you say you got the Holy Ghost, well, you better live like it. Because uh, these young children will tell you in a minute, you got a ghost that ain't holy either. <laughs> Look out here, somebody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I thank God. And uh, we're going to be around until tomorrow. Amen. Sometime. And we're going back. I don't know which way we're going to do it in the morning, but... Our people have been so great and good, and, and these sisters want to go shopping. Y'all know how that is. Now, you were saying, well, church is first, but you don't have to ride on that bus for 14 hours back to suffer with a bunch of sisters that didn't get to go to church, go shopping. <laughs> Amen. So uh, we'll decide that. But praise the Lord anyway. I'm glad to be here. I'm healed tonight. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I didn't go anywhere today with them. I got in the bed. I was hurting bad, my back. And I called three of the distance not there. And when that pain started on that bus, and I was in terrible pain today. But you was calling the person. Amen. You see, you know, and you kept saying, and you looked at me, you said, and I don't have to put my hand on you. And I went down to get the shoes for the sister. I wish you had, amen. Where them shoes at? Are you the one? And the shoes got in my way, but I still got my blessing. God is awesome. Thank God for you. Amen. Amen. But uh, because he lived. Can y'all sing that? Are you going to play it? Is, is this one of my nephews up here too? Is that him? God sent his son. They call him Jesus.
Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lived because she lived. I can face tomorrow because she lived. All fear is gone because I know oh, he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. Listen to this. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives and greater still the calm of a show child can faith on certain day because she lived everybody come on y'all because she lived I can face tomorrow because she lived all fear is gone Be I know oh, 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 he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lived. And listen to this and I'm going to shut up. And then one day I'll cross that river I'll fight like fam, no war with pain, and then that death gives way to victory, and then I'll see the lights of glory, and I know he lives. Come on, y'all. Be because he lived, I can face tomorrow. Because she lived, all fear is gone. Because I know, oh, oh he holds the future, and life is worth. Because he lived. Hallelujah. 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 And this is one church that lives up to what you write. Love. I've never seen so much love until I come in that door 
and eating those snacks. And it wasn't just because of the food either. These are some loving sisters and brother, Bishop Porter. God bless you, my brother, and I love you too. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us all stand. And keep in your mind, let's continue to love one another. And be kind and tender heart to one another. You have a word preaching pastor. He needs prayer too. Don't, don't you think he don't need no prayer? He needs it because the devil don't like him. Amen. But pray for one another because the scripture says to us that we are to be kind, tender hearted to one another. Loving one another having compassion on one another and here's the key and forgiving one another as God for Christ's sake has forgiven me think about that may the grace of God in this sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of us that love our Lord in sincerity in Jesus name amen God bless you Don't forget to take us home with you. You will come and see me in the foyer. I will make, take your orders and I will make sure.